The Menominee Indian School District is already bracing for budget cuts coming from the sequester. They stand to lose more than $300,000. Cuts, the district says, will be a major setback for its students. NBC 26's Brian Miller reports from Kashina. Equals 21. About 900 students and more than 100 teachers in the Menominee Indian School District will soon be forced to do more. Eliminating them, trying to get that zero. With less. Oh, well, you can only tighten the belt so much because you're going to start feeling the pressure, and we're starting to feel it. Superintendent Wendell Waka says $330,000 in federal aid will be stripped from the district March 1st if Congress does not act. We understand that we have to reduce spending. But we can't do it on the backs of kids, especially kids who can't vote, kids who can't advocate for themselves. U.S. Representative Republican Reed Ribble says of the cuts, quote, while sequestration is far from ideal, it's also inevitable. And I want to make sure that the cuts are done in the most responsible and thoughtful way possible. Now, unlike traditional school districts, Menominee Indian District does not collect money from local property taxes. That means taxpayers will likely have to pick up the slack to make up for deep budget cuts. A good deal of our money comes from the federal government through impact aid. So that will be affected right away. And while the district has not decided just what will be cut, everything is on the table, including cutting programs and laying off staff. And district leaders say the decisions won't be easy. In Kashina, Brian Miller, NBC 26.